Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number nine of my journeyman career in Football Manager 2015. So here I've kind of made a real bold decision, especially on the next guy, but Felipe Pardo, I've had a real trouble with him like every week or something, every two weeks, every fortnight, whatever. Um, he, he comes to me saying he's unhappy with training and I can't deal with it anymore. Honestly, it's too annoying and... He's not the kind of player we need. His teamwork, I guess, teamwork and work rate, you know, 9 and 11 respectively, are a big reason to that. He's just not up to scratch, and maybe on the pitch, that will affect as well, especially in bigger games. So, I think, um, yeah, he wants to know why he's on the transfer list, but I can't say my reason. I'll go through all the options, but I'm pretty sure he won't say it there. I, I think it's uh, the right thing to do at this point in your career, not really... Uh, I can't find a place for you, my tactical plans, and it hardly makes sense to keep you around if that's the case. Um, I have so many options in your position. That's That would be true as well, but it's not the actual reason I want to transfer list him. No, not cashing in on him. That's not really the thing. I'll say assertively, I have so many options in your position that I... Because uh, then he'll say I want to fight for my position, and he won't yeah, agree with it right away. I'll say I can't find a play, yeah, place with you in my tactical plans. We'll try that. Um, how we know, I did, I, I have given him a chance, actually, that's not the situation, um, it says, I don't know what it is with you wingers, but you need to know, uh, when to take on your fullback and when to release the ball, you've been attempting to do too many dribbles and just haven't been coming off, no, I don't want to, because I can tell from those kind of comments, it'll be like, you just tell him to work on something and he'll do it. I don't want that. Last one, yeah. Yeah, you're just going to have to accept it. Oh, no. He's going to make a big deal of it, isn't it? Oh, my God. Now, Ruben Mikhail, I know a lot of people are going to be, why are you transfer listing your best player? Well, because he's played so... Well, <laughs> he he's going to generate a lot of interest and hopefully money. I'm trying to do what the best thing for the club is actually here in terms of the balance. Um, and I guess I can say, yes, I really do want to sign that left back Henrique um, for three million. I think over a course of maybe five seasons, like five years from now, he'll be better for the club. But saying that, yeah, like I don't know how long I'm going to be at Braga for sure. So... Yeah, I can't, I can't plan saying I'm leaving in two or three seasons because I don't know for sure. But yeah, just for that case, I feel um, it will be good to because we could get a huge offer for him because he's been playing so well. We could get in the region of maybe fifteen million if we're a bit lucky, and that would be definitely above his value, almost double. So I'll speak to him and see what the situation. Um, assertive. Yeah, I've not taken this decision lightly, but ultimately, yeah, ultimately the club needs to cash in on you. Um, as soon as possible. It says, if you need to get rid of me that badly, then at least I'll command a decent fee. I won't hold it against you. Okay, at least that's a decent reaction. Okay. Uh, see, we've got a transfer listed. Roma's actually... See, that's a team with a bit of money. Roma. So we can offer to clubs for 15 million. Like, if we get that, I'd be set. Like, I'd be happy with that. Then we can sign Henrique, the left back, and sort out our balance at the same time, and maybe sign someone else to replace him in January, like a real good quality. I reckon, like, getting two players for one could be a good thing. But anyway, where am I going? Because, yeah, I could see people, like, I definitely look at my squad, and it's a bit big. Like, I could let go of a cup. That's why, yeah, trans listed two players. I reckon we'll still have a decent squad. Uh, Felipe, Pardo, yeah, Pathanikos, it's a kind of team you'd see him going to as well. Kind of a similar level team, I guess you can say. We'll offer the clubs about for a million. I reckon a million will be good. It's just uh, just under double his value. And yeah, I reckon that will be a good fee for him. How much did he join in real life? Just He's not he's just not doing what I need for him. Uh, but if I actually take a more in-depth look of him as well, like he's got 11 crossing, 12 dribbling. It's nothing too amazing for a winger, if I'm honest. Like Especially, yeah, crossing and dribbling is two of the key attributes for a winger, and he's not really... Yeah, amazing in that side of his game, but he's definitely scored some goals. He could, he's different. He's a decent goal scorer, but yeah, um, his work rate in training isn't up to scratch. But here we have to move on to this next league game against Estoril. Of course, losing in the last game against FC Porto 
was a disappointment, but we go away. We've got some easier games coming up. How much in a league? So just make sure it's not a cup game. You got Estoril, uh, Vets or Vits Sutabal. Where are they sitting? They're at ninth, and Maritimo as well. Uh, Maritimo is thirteenth. So we've got some games we expect to win. Like these are the kind of games we've been winning. So we've got to keep the form up because we're still yeah two points ahead. We're still in the lead first. So. We'll push on even... So, I'm going to be dropping these players out, even though, yeah, Ruben Mikael's injured, actually. And, yeah, Felipe Pardo. But it, it seems as though they haven't affected the first team squad, so far, anyway. Uh, yeah, Mikael, hopefully, he does get an offer from Roma. Even if it's not 15 million, anything above his value, I'd be happy with, just so we can get some decent money off of him. Uh, so, the, at least the club's finances can be in a good place. Because we've got a guy like Pedro Tiba can come in. The youngster, Danilo. Um, you've got Thiago Rodriguez. Mauro. Um, you've got Abdul Nuri. Who's actually... He's got decent potential as well. Look, three and a half star potential ability. So, yeah, he's definitely good. He's got potential to be a key member of the first team squad. So, it's not like we don't have players to come in there. So, I'm I'm happy with that. And the other guy, Felipe Pardo. We've got definitely enough wingers. And a lot of them... Yeah, yeah he's been trouble, like not training the way I want to, and he's just complaining about it. So, um, yeah, it's definitely not going to affect the team. I'm, I'm confident about that. And it will allow a guy like Pedro Tiba to play more, who do actually, um, does he needs more first-team game time um, to actually get match fitness, but also he wants to play that. So how about Cabre Cabrera, Matias Cabrera? He looks... He just looks like an average attacking midfielder. He's got nothing special. He's got like that 14 passing, 14 technique, like the 14 dribbling, that kind. That's why I mean when I say average attacking midfielder, um, but hasn't done anything too special. So like around quality players, he'd probably be even better. But yeah, maybe around the average side and they have to rely on him. It's probably, yeah, lacking if they need to rely on him. So here we will go in and say, um, Kleber, who's... Oh, he used to be at FC Porto, I remember. When I did FC Porto FM12, um, my first ever career, uh, first ever YouTube series, to be honest. Well, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was my first ever YouTube career, uh, YouTube videos, series of videos on Football Manager as well. So um, he was actually pretty good on that from my recollection. But anyway, we'll play advice to the team. Again, just weak foot uh, situations there. And we've got to go passionately. And so, yeah, I expect nothing but a win from this match, especially after the last result. Also, Sasso coming in in the right back position. Just, we need, he needs to play as well. Match fitness is pretty low. Again, need to rotate um, for multiple reasons to keep players happy and for match fitness. Okay, Rafa with a corner. We get back right away, Adair. This will be allowed. <laughs> there you go, 10th goal of the season. And exactly what I wanted here. A nice early goal, and we can play our natural game uh, from here on out. Uh, we've actually been pretty decent from corners. You have Adair um, on that near post, and he's pretty effective. And yeah, him and Rafa combining won't be the last time. Uh, Danilo, ugh, taking a knock already. Not great. Oh, Custodio's injured. Oh my god, come on. Who can we bring on? I guess... Okay, what the hell happened? Did I bring anyone on? He just went off. No, undo last. I think I brought Alan. Sorry about that. Uh, Mauro, he can come straight in. We'll be interested to see how he goes in that role, though, because Custodio, he's been great. But um, I think Mauro can do decent because he's got f good tackling, like marking. Tackling is great. If I go to... Uh, it's not listed in his role there, but if I go to halfback and on defend... He's got some decent attributes for that position, so he could do well. And I guess he's going to have to uh, with Custodio picking up that injury. So he comes in there, and we need him to play a role for us. Uh, just show me what you got tonight. But yeah, um, that's less than ideal, picking up that injury. Come on. They've got a free kick here, and Pinto deals with it fairly easily, but they get it back here. Rafael Balboa smashed it well. I don't know about anyone else. I really notice after I get an injury, it's often then my team start to play bad. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe it's... I'm not sure if it's that much of an impact, but, like, my team lose confidence or something. I don't know. It just... It's... I feel something negative after my team gets an injury. Like, we're not... We don't play as well or for whatever reason. It's just one, one player. I'm not sure if it makes that much of a difference or it should, but it seems to. Come on, lads. 
We'll see what happens here. I might go attacking. Oh, Enrique. So he's just a great fullback. Can tackle and he can attack as well. What more do you want? <laughs> he defends and attacks. Exactly what you want from a complete wingback to get forward. Now, Enrique again. He'll get past. Look at this. Look at that. Whips in a cross. He almost scores, but it falls to Salvador Agra. And he finishes the job. That is... A, look at that, Enrique. Oh, it worked out in the end. It worked out. But that was... It was so dangerous, the ball. It probably wasn't the best cross in the world because it actually um, almost went in. But it worked out. You take them when you get them. And it's 2-1 here. We could almost get a third as well. Sasso, Danilo, Mauro, Pedro Tiba. Oh, my God. He just lost the ball, crucially there. Uh, but they give it away, I guess. Got to be careful of Clay, but though he's pushing. Sasso dealt with it well there. Oh! Poorly anticipated by their defender. Salvador Agra whips in across, and it's finished by Adair once again. And also... <laughs> that's his 50th league goal of his career. We could all... Uh, like, I'm not going to transfer this Adair. That's a definite... Like, not... Because he's the goal scorer. Like, the other positions, like Senemir, they can be replaced fairly easy. But Adair's just got that instinct. Look at... Like, their, <laughs> their player just kicked it into him. He didn't even mean that. So he's scoring when he's not even trying to. <laughs> that's his instinct. That's how good he is. He scores when he's not even trying to score. That's how good he is. And just how everything's going his way right now. But saying that, if a team came with some interest, I'd definitely listen to offers. Because then I can replace him maybe for a cheaper fee or whatever. Anyway, I'm very happy with things are going. Just going sweetly, if I'm honest. Very, very smoothly. I'm happy uh, with how it's going. Pedro Tiba. Adair. He gives away a free kick. It's a great possession, though, at the minute, but we have to be careful that Cabrera guy has a knock. Rafa, if he gets this, he could run away. And it looks like he is right now. But he's running to the wing. <laughs> uh, but he... Oh, my God. Pedro Tiba got it back. It's back to Rafa. To Adair. Salvador Agra. That was a real chance. Whew. That was a big chance. We're going to look to make some changes. More than anything, like as usual, to keep up match fitness, that kind of stuff. Yeah, Enrique, we don't really have someone to come on for him, though. That is the problem. But I think Sasso, I'm training him at left back. Yeah, left back, because he's sort of that rotation play. He'll just come in wherever needs to be played more than anything. So we'll swap that up. Put him left back because he's learning that in training. And then we'll bring on Bayano. And ooh, one more. Mm, Pedro Tiba. And we'll bring on Thiago Rodriguez. I want to play Danilo a lot so he can grow. Bayano, I have faith in you. Thiago Rodriguez. Hmm, I'll say calm. Pressure off. And we'll go in those two subs. Um, yeah, we definitely should hold on to the result here. Well, I don't want to hold on. <laughs> Just continue the way we're playing. Control the game, that kind of stuff. Maybe score again. Uh, at least one more goal. Just yeah, continue the way we're playing to uh, continue the form into the next match. Uh, Rafa, again, he's picked up a knock as well. We're getting a fair few of those. Injuries, knocks. They've got one as well. Well done, Pinto. Oh, Salvador Agra could counter. Adair. What is he going to do here? Adair, back to Danilo. Thiago Rodriguez. I reckon Thiago Rodriguez and Danilo could be a really beastly center mid partnership. Maybe two or three seasons, they'll be world class. Not world class. Well, at least for this division, maybe. Adair! Oh, my God. It's like They could be really, really solid together. So, yeah, I'm happy about having those two players at the team now. But, yeah, Ruben Mikael, going to sell him. I definitely want to purchase Enrique for sure. So that's three million, but yeah, it all depends how much I sell him for. But again, at the same time, uh, we have that yeah percentage that was decreased of the transfer. So we'll see how much we get actually for the transfer budget. That's interesting. But yeah, at least for now, we should be getting the win, three-one. Uh, it's a solid win. It's a good win. Like I'm ha like I'm happy we didn't lose too much confidence um, after the Porto game. Like we're just back, like normal stuff here. Nice, convincing win, 3-1 um, at home. So just playing out time here with the keeper, Matthias. 
He's just running out. Um, as we know, the game is over. It is 3-1 against Estoril. It's a great result. Got to say passionately, um, I'm happy. I'm happy we can get back winning. And, yeah, hold on to that first position. Because, of course, yeah, FC Porto, they win against Benfica. So that separates them as well. But, yeah, the game in the future in the league uh, where we play FC Porto, that will be crucial as well. It is at home, though. So might stand a chance. We'll see how it goes, though. Uh, it's a good win here for today. So here we are for the next game in the league. Uh, we're playing against Vitz Suterbal. They are 10th in the league, and we are first. <laughs> it's an interesting game because we're playing away. We need to go out to win this. We need to act like a team that FC Porto are, that Benfica are, even sporting uh, Lisbon. Uh, they're decent sporting. Uh, they've got some good players like Nani. <laughs> Nani is a quality player, of course, on loan from Manchester United. They've got a lot of on loan players and loaned out players and all that kind of stuff. So, Wilm Carvalho, they've got a lot of talent. They're a big team, and we're trying to compete with these, but we don't have as much as quality as those, but we are. We're, we're playing that way, so I've got to be happy about that. Uh, but we've got to keep it up, and especially right now, we're trying to sell a couple guys, like Ruben Mikael, which I can see that a lot of people will think this is a bad thing because he's my key player, but I kind of want to take advantage of his current good form, and yeah, definitely Roma are interested, so it's only minor interest though, so asking price 10 million might be, yeah, I don't know, maybe you might have to wait till January, I remember that situation with Manchester United, wasn't really getting offers for players before January, but once it hit the January transfer window, uh, was getting quite a few more offers in, so uh, even for Leap Pardo, so I don't know, yeah, I did a quick pick before, that's why he is there, I think we'll bring, hmm, We've got Yeah, Thiago Rodriguez can be the center mid on the bench. I think, yeah, we've got Sasso. Hmm. I'll bring in Sami, just like a nut. No, we have enough wingers on the bench. I'm not sure that third, or if anything, just Ruben Mikael, like if we like if we desperately need um, him. So I'll take a Pardo. And see, I'm having real trouble getting, swapping players off and on. I don't know why. So I'm trying to click here. You can see how I'm clicking like that. And Pardo, finally. I don't know. Maybe we need to reload the game or something. So here we go. At least for now, we'll go in. Also, Bolly as well. He came to me saying he wanted to play more. He's actually decent. Got a bit of potential. I think three and a half star uh, potential ability. We'll check that out right now. Uh, we'll see a report. Yeah, look at that. Three and a half star potential ability. So he can be real good. He's uh, very physical. Uh, pretty quick, 13 pace, not too bad, and strength 17, so obviously tackling, yeah, tackling is only 11, that needs to be worked on a little bit, but he's got the potential, and he'll be, uh, with that physical ability, but then potential, uh, he can be real good, I think, so here we'll go, uh, again, just apply advice, just, yeah, gen the, the general weak foot being applied to some attacking players. Oh, yeah, go out there and carry straight up from where you left off in the last match. It was, yeah, that's better. That's a good reaction. Come on, let's go with another win here. And it will be interesting to see if we can perform without a key, yeah, a key midfielder, that, or who at least has been our key midfielder. Like, I'm content with the guys who are playing, like Pedro Tiba, Danilo Mauro. They're still good players. And I think we can still we can win them like without we can win games without Ruben Mikael in the team, even though he is quality. But our finances are not in a very good position at the minute. That's my major concern. But we can still score goals. Adair, twelfth goal of the season. I definitely do not want to sell him. He's the guy that's going to be scoring. The centre mids they can chop and change. More or less, it doesn't matter who's playing. It's the wing impact from Salvador Agra whipping in that low cross. And Adair scores yet another. Amazing strike. Well, more so, yeah, just amazing chance for him to finish. Oh, no. It's a corner goal. Lewis Advin Kula. I found the back of the net, number 82. There's a lot of high numbers <laughs> I've been noticing. But, yeah, Kiko put that in, actually. He whipped it in and, yeah. What can you say about that? It was a neat finish. It was well finished. Come on. We need to get it back right away. And we're on the attack here with the throw-in. Bayano. Adair's not in the box. So he's not going to be on to. We're going to go have to uh, go another route here. Adelan Santos. Go Bayano. Whips it dangerously to Rafa. Perfect. Bayano. He's... Uh, my crossing has been real good uh, from my players. 
That's one part of the game we've looked good. That was an amazing cross. That was just perfect for Rafa to get onto. Boyano, that was... That's one of the better crosses you're ever going to see, really. That is perfect. And Rafa scores another goal. He's he's a talent, definitely. But again, it's a set piece. Advincula, whoo. Well defended in the end. We're going to keep it in and no corner even for them. So well done. Now Enrique, Danilo, Mauro, play out this defense. This is what we want to do. And we're getting better at it as the games go by. And it was very interesting to see where we are from a year from now. When we're playing this uh, kind of style for a year, uh, you would imagine we're in a real strong position, signing players to suit certain roles as well. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Salvador Agra, can he get past? Oh, Adair! Oh! Again, it was well created by Salvador Agra. He's Like I said, he's just a classic winger for me. He, just, he plays that role of a winger perfectly. But technically, they're inside forwards, but still, like, that's what I mean, the position. Uh, again, guard against complacency. Willy Bolly, only the one that's looking stress. Um, let's say there's no pressure on you. Yeah, it didn't really change that. Usually, I don't mind it so much when a play. I usually mind it when a defender is looking stressed. That is not good, a centre-back. <laughs> that can be impact. But, yeah, uh, Tarosso gives away a foul there, but no impact at all. Come on, I really want another goal to make sure of it. Because, like, these two ones or any result, like 1 0, whatever, when you're winning just by the goal, it's never reassuring. But Pedro Tiba. Oh, Danilo, finish it. Yes. I told you, these center mids can make an impact. Pedro Tiba and Danilo. One had the shot and one finished it. And that was a pretty decent free kick. Powered it straight at the keeper. And then Danilo, the youngster, was set to pounce. He's actually had games for Brazilians under 20 team. So he's real good. And that's in the game as well. So, yeah, he's doing his job. And he's showing he can perform uh, in the first team here. So Pedro Tiba, I'll just take him off uh, for fitness concerns. And we'll bring on ooh, Ruby Mikael just for a bit of yeah playing time. And maybe, yeah, might gather some more interest. Who knows? Uh, Salvador Agra had a good game. Oh, sometimes it clicks on players when I don't want to click, but <laughs> that happens. Uh, Salvador Agra will bring on ooh, Max Gradil, maybe? Or Alain, the captain. Now, Gradil, he's a good impact with his pace. He'll be good to come on, I reckon. And one more. Who can come off here? Enrique, but again, we don't really have... Yeah, you can bring on Sasso, I guess. Um, Rafa, again, I just want to keep him fit, and we'll bring on Alain, who's the captain of our team. Actually, put him more preferred right side. Um, as you can see there, he plays better. So Ruben Mikael will say assertively, I have faith in you. I don't expect him to get good reactions because I kind of want him to leave. And he might, yeah, he might want to play well to show his talents to other teams. Um, who really knows? And here, for the captain, I'll just say calmly, uh, show me what you got today. And we should be looking to, yeah, continue on uh, for the last 20 minutes of this game. Uh, to hold on to this result and, yeah, maintain our first position in the league. A uh, very strong position with, yeah, our only loss in the season was away to FC Porto. So when you're unbeaten for the rest of the season, you know, you're doing pretty well if your only loss was away to FC Porto. Uh, so, yep, that'll be it. That'll be it. Um, only, like, 10 seconds remaining of the game. So, again, it's another 3-1 victory. Solid, a pretty solid performance. But still, we win 3-1, but I don't think we played amazing. Like... With unsureties around guys like Ruben Mikael and stuff, our team can only get better. We, I, I think I can improve my team, definitely. So, uh, that's great news for the future, <laughs> definitely. So, we're first now, four points ahead. Uh, Porto still have a game to play, and if they win that, we'll still be two points ahead. So, um, yeah, pretty strong. Dominate possession. Opposition only had one shot on target, so did deserve that win. So yes, that will be it for now. I played the two games, uh, both 3-1 victories, pretty solid. You can see position in the league. I just want to play through so you can see um, FC Porto, uh, they only came a draw because, yeah, they were on 27 points. Now they're on 28. So we're over that game away. We're four points ahead. So that's real, real comfortable for me. <laughs> in a very good position. Like, if I could finish first with the Braga when expecting to finish fourth, I reckon that's a good season, real good season and good chance to win a cup as well. Two competitions won in the first season. That would be what I'm aiming for. And to go on my resume, hopefully uh, would spark interest from some teams. But I don't imagine, yeah, I won't imagine it will happen with one season of success. It will have to be next season as well. Might look to push for the league again. And um, obviously a successful Champions League campaign. Not winning it, but 
Yeah, even getting out of the group would be hard, but that would probably be what I'd look for as a success. But anyway, for now, uh, I'm happy with how we're going, and hopefully you are too. Drop a like if you want to see more of this, and I'll see you guys next time.